idea of a person with a disability fully belonging to their community, bringing their gifts, bringing their passions, um, participating, is we have big barriers to that in our community. And so I think we need to think differently um, as a community about how we're going to solve that problem. Um, what we need funding, we're always asked to show the efficacy of what we're doing. Well, so what we do is we, we rely on those things that we already have done and that we do so well because we need the funding and we know that these things work so we can share the efficacy with organizations like the Greater Cincinnati Foundation. But that forces us to just keep doing what we're already doing. And if we're gonna help people that aren't being helped, we need to change what we're doing. So, this, so, so that's what's so great about this opportunity is it's allowing us not to, to rely on what we've already done and to show the efficacy, but really to show what the future might look like and what the innovative possibilities are down the road. That's why I think this cohort is so important because there's some systemic issues out there that need to be answered and we can't do it alone. To make these kinds of things happen, we need the support um, of other organizations who can help us make some connections, maybe who have been through this. If you exclude somebody, you're excluding a resource. You're excluding somebody that can help you solve problems, somebody that can help you think differently about an issue. So often with the population we serve, the tendency is to focus on the areas um, uh, that they can't do. You know, they can't do this, they can't do that, this isn't safe, that isn't safe. And when you set up an innovative approach like this, it sets up the question, what can we do? That I think we need a different model to, to address these. And so this is more of a model of try something fail probably, but evaluate that um, and try again. Karen Martin from Stepping Stones and I were just having a discussion, which is what happens when, you know, when, when like the Greater Cincinnati Foundation brings all these wonderful organizations together. This is the stuff that happens. That's why it's so great. And what we need to do is come up with a program that allows people from Stepping Stones to care for horses, not ride horses, but to care for horses. And we wouldn't be able to, to, uh, to create that environment for the Stepping Stones participants if it weren't for this Greater Cincinnati Foundation approach. I think people should invest in this um, because if we think people with Down syndrome or autism or cerebral palsy have gifts, then we also have to think that of our neighbors, of our colleagues, of people across the political divide, of people who don't agree with us, that if there really are assets in even the most vulnerable people that aren't immediately seen as valuable or having contributions, then that has to be true of all of us. And what a beautiful example to kind of take somebody who is often an underdog or not accepted or not immediately thought of as a leader and say, you are, you know, well, we could do that for everybody. I think that's a really good thing to strive for.